Did you guys obey? Are you still here? Are y'all still here? Now, I know you see pitch blackness. Well, that's the wrong picture. I know you see pitch blackness, but I am I am about to appear. Don't worry. It's like magic. I'm showing all my I'm showing all my darkness I keep click, I keep clicking window capture. I need I need a video capture, you dumbass. Oh my god. I know how to use this. I know what I'm doing. I understand technology, people. I promise. I don't, I don't understand technology. I don't know. I never know what I'm doing. All right, there we go. We're in crispy HD now. I actually think Rand needs to come back in the story. And I want to explain why. It's because I want him to. That's it. That's, that's the reason. That's it. I need that. All right. Let me see where y'all at. Did they listen? Did they obey? Or did they leave? Did they struggle? Yo, chill on me. 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 <laughs> chill on me. Chill on me. <laughs> I, clicked the, I clicked the same thing like three times. Like, am I okay? It wasn't good with me, bro. I am not serious right now. Um, leave my leave my face alone, bro. I get I have I get girls. I get girls. I know I, I'm too HD. I'm too crispy. They can see all the imperfections. I'm too crispy. It's too it's too clean. I see now I gotta lean back. See now now he maybe he made me insecure, guys. So now I have to lean back for his left definition. But yeah, um, shit. What's I gonna say? So. Do you guys agree with me when I say Rand's the best trained regular? Like, he came into the tower the most prepared out of all the people that we kind of saw as regulars. And I'm going to exclude maybe direct descendants of Princess of Jihad and the regulars. So, everybody else. I'd argue Rand was the best trained, the most prepared for any and all combat situations when he came in. And I, re I legitimately miss seeing him. I legitimately miss seeing him. So, yeah. He hit 30 and forgot how computers work. Ha, huh, that's where he's wrong. I never knew how computers worked. <laughs> I didn't know what six. I didn't know what 16. I didn't know what 25. And I don't know what 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, us I'm using my Nikon camera. That's why I'm crispy as hell. I don't always use it because if I'm, so the, the, like, obvious, all it really is is I'll overload. I overload the encoder sometimes because this is like a, 4k camera actually not 4k 2k i think camera actually so if i'm like reacting and have a gif going and a chat going my computer goes i don't have the faculties for that big man <laughs> and it just it just it just lags so but i actually do have another camera i want to test out that, that down here i got this logitech kit i also want to try the mic out it's a it's a it's a yeti but it's a different yeti than the one i used to use what's what's it called Logitech for creators, Logitech stream camera, Blue Yeti Nano. So we'll see if that works better. I also am getting a swing arm because I'm tired of holding this shit. I need something. I need to just put the mic here and lean back and not have to fucking hold it. It's, so it's pissing me off. So, so yeah. So, yeah. I th well, who are you as a guide? So that's a little different. I, I don't. You think it was you think it was Lori Young Sleep? All right, hold on. I like Young Fleet, but I disagree. I want you to think about all the different techniques you've seen Rand use and Rand do and how he can apply different types of powers and power sets in different situations. The Cloud, the Lance, General Gian Sula, hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Lightning Pill, Redon. Like, Rand's arsenal was quite diverse and vast. Like he was pretty well prepared as far as it, as 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 regulars go, in my opinion. Like I can't think of anyone else that had that level of preparedness beforehand. I'm not saying people didn't learn through experience or get better, but bef but but like Rand came ready as far as I'm concerned. So I can. He came in flying on the second floor, but after he hasn't done much. That's all he did though. What about a knack? No, not a knack either. But uh, but but she she's a candidate. Like she's she's pretty well prepared and pretty well trained. But a knack's more of a physical fighter. I haven't even seen a knack use a shinsu blast, if if I remember correctly. But she's very physical, and that's okay. But that's more of her thing. But but her but ran and ran and a knack lack 
the mental fortitude to like not fall for certain provocations. Ren and certain people played around with 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 Anak, and then with Ran, Anak goaded her into 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 keeping the fight a physical fight. So yeah, Ghost that doesn't really count. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if I. I mean, I suppose. I don't know. If, I don't know if he doesn't count. I didn't. I didn't consider him, but yeah. That's one of my better videos, in my opinion. If you ever seen that video, go watch it. I talk about why I think Ran was the best prepared regular out of all the regulars that we saw. I excluded uh, irregulars. I think direct descendants, maybe. I might have not. Because he's a direct descendant. So, no, I didn't exclude them. That's dumb. So, whatever I said earlier was dumb. My bad. And then... I lost my train of thought. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I need to eat something. So when does season two of this anime come back? Because everyone keeps everyone keeps asking me if I'm gonna want, if I'm gonna try the season two anime. When is that? Do we have a date? Do we have a general idea, or is it just we know it's coming? We just know it's been renewed for a, se- a second season. Ryan was one of the most impressive from the works up on the works. He had a deep bag full of tricks. It's just season two's in the works. Okay, so we have no idea. Oh, that's how I was gonna judge to find that video. I don't know. I don't even know what I named it. That's the crazy part. Maybe I'll just go on my playlist. Excuse me, Moa. We know what's coming. Okay. I definitely want to hear Mew Love in Korea. Not much is yet. That much is happening. Off rip. Because I when I I ended up finishing it, but I, and I and you guys already know I don't like the anime, but um, I ended up I ended up liking um. I, I like, and I watched it in Korean. I wanted like uh, the authentic. I'm sorry, y'all. For anyone who's like not new, y'all know Kami no To. It's not move. I don't know what that is. Yodu, don't know who that is. I don't understand none of that. All right, it's Tower of God, and I watched it in Korean. I'm sorry. That 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 is to me that is the authentic experience. Um, I should start doing the reclimbs again. Ran was the category of TOG that do had a bag. I'm waiting for Invincible to come out. Invincible season two should be good. Um, I still, I still really want everyone to read it because the comics, the comics are so good. I actually own all of Invincible. It's on my shelf. I hold, I, I have all the omnibuses, but um, I do think the cartoon did a good job with the first season, all things considered. But you know how things go. Okay, this, this is the full playlist. Well, how long? I probably made this video a while ago. I want to say. No, that's not that video. It's not that video. It's not this one. When did I make that um Ran video? I'm gonna post it in the chat. Oh yes, Kun Ran, the best trained regular. I was oh, what a year old. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll drop that in the chat. You guys can watch that whenever you want to watch that. That's not gas and invincible, invincible when I'm here. Asking a guy who can't watch a good anime adaptation to watch a second season adaptation he already disliked is crazy. Well, I, <laughs> you know how you know how it'd be sometimes, man. They don't care about that. They want to see me suffer. Yes. Or they're like, you have to give it a fair chance. You have to try. You have to give it a chance again. You can't. You can't judge it. So yeah, that's that's the link if you want to watch the video. But. But but KG, I'm often very used to that. People often recommend me things that I don't like. They're like, you need to watch this series. Why? There's a one character and he's really strong and he beats up all the other characters all the time. And I'm like, am I a joke to you? Am I a joke to you, my brother? Why do you think that is okay to do to me? I was like, I'm not a meathead. I'm not a meathead. I don't, I don't care. Luther Strode is one of the rare examples of one that I liked because it it's three volumes. It doesn't overstay its welcome. I see the appeal of solo leveling because that was the one that I I used. You, you like solo leveling? Are oh, you stupid? You're dumb. You don't know nothing about nothing. I'm like, all right, man. Like I, they don't move me. I don't know what, what do you want. This guy just beats everybody. Icarus or Rise, Id- whatever dead undead necromancy. Like it looks cool. It's well drawn. But I have no substance here. I'm bored as fuck. When the Chimera Ants came, I left. I was done. I was done. But 
I've always given it credit. I think it starts off really good. I think that nigga, uh, Jin Sun Jin Woo, he earned his powers by figuring out what was going on. That was one of my most watched videos, actually. My thoughts on solo leveling. That's crazy. So, yeah. Where do you watch the Korean version? Oh, I put the straw hat on. I'm that guy. You look. You can look at my shelf. You can look at all things that I own. If I like it, I support it. I will buy it. But I have not a single problem going on my pirate ship and sailing the high seas. I don't care. And I, I feel no remorse. I don't care what people... Oh, you're, you're this, you're that. No, I don't care. Be, fight me. Beat my ass then. Are you going to beat my ass? No, you can't. So shut up. So, but yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a site where I... There was a torrential <laughs> downpour, and I used that to watch it in Korean subs. That's what I did. So, yeah. Um, Invincible, but greater than those other mid. I mean... Invincible to me is the best self-contained super superhero story, made by like one creative team. It's not that there aren't great runs of Batman, Superman, I don't know, Wolverine, Fantastic Four, whatever you want to, whatever you want to think of. But in terms of like a self-contained, more universe where you're in your own thing, I know, I know that he went to see Spider-Man. I know that happened, right? But you, Invincible is its own thing. It's the best one that I've read, followed by Empowered, probably. And I want to get into like the, I can't remember if it's the Black Hammer and all those guys from in Image. There's another universe I want to get into. So that I'm, that's my that's next on my list. I just need time. I need time. I got, I got, I got no time sometimes. So I got, I just focus on what I got to focus on. So it sucks that Crunchyroll made all their content paid for. I can't even watch 2D for free anymore. I don't even, I've never used Crunchyroll. I've never had Crunchyroll, but I'll be very honest with you guys. I can respect people who are trying to go through the official and legal means of doing stuff. I respect that. I do. Um, I actually find, though, the user interface of a lot of those things are absolutely abhorrent. When I read a chapter on Shonen Jump's website and I have to do that stupid scroll left shit, it's insufferable to read like this. You actually make the experience worse through the official means. I don't want to read that way. I want to scroll down. I want to scroll down in one fell swoop, long strip. That's all I want to do, or click at least. That stupid little slider, I hate it. I think Amazon's user um, inter pl uh, video player is ass. Like, there's things, like, I like, I'm, like in this house, now, I'm not saying it's mine, but we have Amazon, we have Disney+, Plus, we have um, Netflix, HBO, I think. No, no. Are, am I paying for any of that? No. But even if it's on there, I still put the straw hat on <laughs> and the eye patch. Just so it's on my computer, I can watch it whenever I want, where I want, and I can watch it um if there's no internet. So, I'm your bad guy if you want. It is what it is. I'm on board. There you go. Sail, sail, sail your Jolly Roger, man. Where do Riku Berra? I was going to start it on Alpha Scans, but it's gone now. Well, I actually read the first two seasons online, then on Mangadex. Mangadex or Kubari.moe, I can, yeah, Mangadex has it, but I could, I could post, I read it on, I personally read it on Kubari.moe specifically because of a color issue, a color issue, whatever. Yay. My boy, Kavan. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yay. Welcome. Bonita. Seven months. Peace, peace. It's been so seven months, man. Damn. Y'all be showing love. That's why uh you wait, what's what's UX? I know UI is user interface. What's UX? What's that what's that stand for? Did you guys know laser is an acronym? <laughs> Sorry. I I know I got excited for no reason. But I did not know laser was an acronym. I learned that like three days ago. Stands for light amplification by st stimulated emission of radiation. That's what laser means. I actually no. I remember I was watching a solid JJ and X and uh and um Ace Vane crossover. I think that's what I learned that. I'm like, I did not know that that was an acronym. That's interesting. That's completely complete side note. But yeah. 
Yo, post the link so I can finally read Kubera. All right, man. You got it. Um, have I read Watchmen? One of my favorite comics? Yes. I'm a huge fan of the Watchmen. I actually don't even dislike Zack Snyder's like director cut of the Watchmen. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's good stuff. I'm a I'm a very I'm a really big comic book guy, so I read a lot. I used to well, I used to. I can't like I thought I don't anymore, but I would say when did when did the new fifty two end? When did Rebirth start? 2016? I haven't really read big two comics like that since like 2016. Like here and there sparingly. I'll keep my ear to the ground every once in a while. Like I did read like Gotham White Knight, the joke the little six contained Joker run and stuff like that. I tried to read Tom King's Batman, but I couldn't. It was ass, it was ass. A couple of other things that I I, I read, but I pretty much only read independent comics now. Image, Valiant, IDW, Boom Studios. I'll read like imprints of Marvel and DC, so like Vertigo, stuff like that I'll read, but I don't really read like superhero stuff anymore. And I I said that's not true, but like big two, Marvel and DC, they I they're they don't they make shit. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They make absolute ass. They've been co-opted by that the like extremely radical progressive movement. So everyone's gotta be like black and gay and a PLC and talk about racism and the political landscape. And it's like they've made superhero shit not fun. I don't wanna watch. I don't wanna read that. There's a ton of old content from like Jack Kirby and many, many, many authors and writers that I respect that I still wanna read anyway, so I just go back. I just go back. It's a long time ago. I built a laser as a final project in high school. So yeah, I, I I'm sure people who are like into STEM and like engineering or whatever probably knew that. But I I was I was 30 years old when I learned what laser that laser was an acronym. I was gonna slander you for the laser tweet, but I chose to respect my elders. Thank you. You should respect the elderly, man. Our brains are broken. What series is that? What series is that on yourself? The blue spines. Oh, on the top shelf here. This is Ranma one half. It's all. It's all. It's every single volume of Ranma one half. This is the first manga I, um I ever I ever finished um collecting. Um, Rumiko Takahashi is my manga is my manga anime like origins though. I started off with like Inuyasha, Mezo, Ikoku, Ranma one half, um Yatsure, Usa Yatsure, the the shit with Lum, the alien. So and Rumiko Takahashi is my is in my top six mangaka of all time. I love her. She, she, she's... So yeah, that's that's what that is. Second shelf has like Murak has my like Murakami. I don't remember in the back, but Murakami, um, Yukio Mishima, um, then it has all my Nishio Ishin stuff. So all my Monogatari light novels, all my Monogatari fucking manga. Bottom shelf is mostly just comics, so it's like American Vampire. I have to. I rove down in Truth and Love. I have Rohan at the Louvre, Habibi by uh, Craig Thompson, Blankets by Craig Thompson, Love Sucks for These Lonely Losers by Solan Solanin, Solanin, sorry, by um Inio Sano, A Girl by the Shore, A Death Note, Another Note, Los Angeles B Murder Cases, Death Note, um Volume Thirteen. I got a couple of Malcolm Gladwell books there, so Outliers, David and Goliath. Tipping Point, the Ahsoka Star Wars novel, and and three volumes of Die Will Gelder. Or Bay Garuda. So, yeah. I read a lot. That's what I do. I like to read. I'm a fucking loser. I just read all the time. I'll spend an entire day reading about neuroscience. I'm like, wow, the brain is so fascinating. <laughs> I'm such a. That's why. That's why I was laughing. People were like, Naya, why don't you just do what you do, watch what you watch on YouTube, but do it on stream? And I'm like, you want me? You want me? To, you want to sit through a uh, a three hour Andrew Huberman neuroscience lecture? Like, I don't think you want to sit through that. I'm boring. That's what I do. I'm old. <laughs> Yo, Ranma, you got nostalgia punch. I love that series, man. Have you read Shaman King? Yes, I like Sh I like Shaman King a lot. Um, I can see. I I've never seen someone compare it to JoJo, but I understand why they would do it because it's like the spirit summoning thing. You fight in conjunction with an ethereal kind of spirit behind you that can have physical impact on the real world. So I kind of get that. Um, I've mostly seen Persona and JoJo compared more often than not, but I don't think they're similar at all. But I like Shaman King. JoJo was one of my all time favorite things ever in the history of the universe. I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's like the greatest thing to me. I love that shit. I've always admitted I think JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is an acquired taste. 
But if you don't like JoJo, you don't have a soul. I don't care. You don't have a soul. You're a soulless person. You are nobody from Kingdom Hearts. But actually, that got wrecked on. They got souls or hearts. But yeah. That's what I think. But I like Shaman King. Um, Choco Love is one for a long time was one of my favorite um characters, and he has one of my favorite backstories. But him being a gang member and learning like the medicine of like laughter and trying to heal through laughter and stuff like that, I like Choco Love's backstory a lot. Um, I watched Shaman King. Didn't read the manga. I know the anime manga of this story completely different. Did you watch it on Fox on Four Kids Fox Watch? Look around you, look beyond. You could make an unbreakable bond. The world around you is not what it seems. Yeah, I I still have that song on my phone. I never had a song on my phone. <laughs> Shaman King JoJo comparison feels weird. It does, but I I can see why someone would do it though. Persona and JoJo aren't similar, but it's the very basic viewer speech to have you grab interest. Exactly. Hey, handsome man. Hey, what's going on, Big Abdel? Yep, you can make an unbreakable bond. It's one of my favorite. Anime openings. I love that opening. One of my favorite English anime openings. I love that opening. It's so good. I will lie to you. It's what. Don't tell Sylvia I said this, but I I don't care, bro. I like the I like the Ultimate Muscle opening. <laughs> It's not it's not nearly as raw as Kaneko Man's opening in Japan. Like actually, but I still love that opening. I don't care. So you're probably lurking in the chat. You'll be like, nigga, I heard you, bitch. Shaman King 4 kids opening is the best opening I heard. I'm not mad at that. Shaman King is better than Jojo. I'm sorry. That's okay. You don't have to think that. I don't I don't agree, but you don't have to think that. It doesn't bother me. You have to understand one thing about me. I don't speak on people's personal enjoyment. You like what you like. What am I supposed to be like? You can't enjoy. You're not allowed to like Shaman King more than Jojo. Yeah. Now, if you want to hash out specifically what they do better or something that's a different conversation than i'm willing to have but i got i can't speak on your enjoyment though. you like what you like you might like to watch paint dry i'm about to tell you you're wrong for that enjoy watching paint dry jojo just my go i love that shit iraqi iraqi saved my life man i anything that iraqi puts out i buy you, you saw me point out Rohan at the Louvre, thus spoke Kishibe Rohan, but I do have to, I do have to start I do have to start collecting um Vento Aware though. I don't have any of Gold in the Wind. I just finished collecting Diamond is Crash or Diamond is Unbreakable. But um anyways, real quick, I um just to to harpen back to the persona thing, I will say this about Persona. Persona 4 specifically. Yo, Persona 4 is not just it's not just Diamond is Unbreakable. Serial killer in the town. You got your supernatural spirit ethereal ability contained group. Like I said, ain't no way. Y'all not slick. Y'all yo, know, Persona 4 is just Loki, just part four of JoJo. But they're still very different to me though. That's just what it is. You're not allowed to enjoy Vagabond. Other than that, whatever. Fair enough. Vagabond so mid. That's just pretty art. <laughs> Um, I think Berserk is peak fiction, but I see people who hate the series with a passion. I'm not a Berserk fan. I don't hate the series, but I, I'm not a Berserk fan. I don't think Berserk is bad necessarily, but the most interesting part of Berserk to me was the Golden Age. So anything that's happened after the fact, why I don't think it's bad, it doesn't compare to me to how the kind of conflict with Griffith and the Guts starts. And my favorite character was retarded for like 400 years. Casca is my favorite character, and she had, she's been able, she hasn't been able to do anything or form words. She's been brain dead, right? So like, if you know me, I'm a character person. So if my favorite character is not important, it's hard for me to enjoy what I'm looking at. But I'm not a bizarre guy, personally speaking. I'll eventually get to JoJo Part Eight so I can get to Part Nine. Yo, JoJo lands, JoJo Lando. Part four is definitely inspired, but we know like a forty percent of of any manga media has taken inspiration from JoJo. No, yeah, for sure. It's just it's just like the one funny joke that I like make where I'm like, I don't like jo people like Persona and JoJo are the same thing. I'm like, I don't, no, not really, but I don't know about that part four to part four. Like part four, like the fourth game in part four, is contained town serial killer. Hmm, just I was just saying. That's all. It's just fun. To, it's just fun to think about because three is three is very unique to me with C's. And Tartarus, that's very unique. Two is a very good game as well. Two has the best characters, I think. Um, I think five has the best like aesthetic, the best combat, user interface. Oh, I guess I, I guess a menu management and whatnot. But I, I but five is my least favorite persona, probably. 
Yeah, I'll go three. I'll go three, five, two. No, three, four. No, three, four, five, two, probably, maybe. So maybe not. But yeah. I don't hate Persona 5, though. Some people some people I know would hate that game. I'm like, I don't hate it that much, but I do hate that fuck-ass cat telling me to go to bed. Yes, quality of life, 100%. Baton Pass was a life-saving moment, a, a, a mechanic, and I liked with the, the girl who you play Shogi with, I believe. She gives you the ability mid-battle to switch to other peoples in your party who are not, who you didn't pick to, like, run around mementos with. That was a game changer too. So I can actually do dungeons in a pretty much one run without having to run out of SP. That changed that changed the game a lot. I want to play Persona 5 Royal, but I don't want to play it. Cuz I guess also cuz I'm a late to Persona. I wasn't I didn't play like I didn't play that for years. Like I was like 2013 when I first played it. But I got to play the enhanced port of every Persona game until 5. So 2 had their PSP version. Um, three had FES and Persona Three Portable. Four, I played um Persona Four Golden on my Vita, but five was the first time I played the base game, so it was different for me. I never wanted to read JoJo because the art style looks weird. One of the reasons I never read Berserk for a long time. You really think the art style is weird? I think the art. I think I actually think. Um, I don't know. Hot take. I think Araki is one of the best. Um art like like artist in like in the in the manga industry even to this day i think the fact that his work his art his artistry is distinct and unique is a strength and i think he's a very good visual storyteller i don't think he's okubo level the okubo i'm talking about the guy who does like soul leader and 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 um i said fire emblem almost fire uh fire force i think he's one of the best um visual storytellers in the medium but Araki's really good at that. Would I want a P3 rework? Um, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm good. I could just play the old ones over and over again. If they wanted to make it some quality of life upgrade, something like that, I I could I could see myself double dipping and getting it again. But I still have Fe Fes and for some of three portable, like I could play them whenever I want. And that one was cool too because you could play as the female MC. And I remember I I saved Shinjiro. I saved I saved Shin. In that version, it was sick. In that version, he doesn't have to die. Yo, don't forget about the test. Did you send it to me? Are you gonna play the new Zelda game? Of course. If you don't know, if you didn't know that, if you didn't know, you know today. Nine Hemings is, yo, know, it's fuck Nintendo, but I slurped the Master Sword, huh? I was hacked. Yeah, Zelda's really cool though. I like Zelda. <laughs> I like Zelda. Oh, this test: sixteen personalities. Oh, this is the um, the the e. I know what I am already. I can just where where's the, where's the um? I did this. I did this. I did this. I did this on stream. KG, I've done this on stream. I've actually. I qu I'm quite literally gonna pull up the video. I know I did this on stream. You said pause. Nah, play. We slurping the master sword. Really huh? cool. I was hacked. I was hacked. I was voice hacked by AI. Don't 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 trust ChatGPT, bro. It hacked me in real life. I literally did this on stream. Because I remember when I, when I discovered this. I got to find it. Oh, I got to go through all these fucking videos. I'm just going to send this to KG. <laughs> you can watch the old stream, bro. Oh, man. I've been streaming for over a year. That's crazy. It was like the personalities test, but I don't remember what I called it. Cause the problem with me is I named all my all the titles... For the things that I like, for all my streams are stupid. They're not serious titles. I just do whatever. Um, Nintendo relationship is abusive, but does all the dick different? Naya? Facts. 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 That Hylian D is for <clears throat> um a top five video games. Woo! Damn. On the spot. I can tell you my fave. I can I can probably I could probably do this. Okay, let me think. I love Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. That's my favorite. Um, what's my favorite? It was Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, from like 2005 until about 2019 when I played Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. 
I love that game with my heart and soul. I beat it like 55 times a year at this point. I've, I've probably beat Blood Fables like three times a year right now. And I love it. Second, favorite game of all time. It probably, I really think Breath of the Wild is third, but I'm comfortable saying second for now. I found it. I was, uh, I think I was a I N G uh, I N G uh, T J um, A, not turbulent, assertive, but I'm literally gonna, I'm really, I, I could probably find, um, on my Twitter too, KG, where I, um, think I'm a jigged, but here, I'm gonna send it to you. But yeah, um, what did you say you thought I was? I, I N J T, yeah, I N J T A. Yeah, that's what I am. I N T J A. Assertive. Yes, assertive architect. That's what it was. Assertive architect, the guy in the purple suit. Exactly, exactly what I was. Exactly, yes. This was a this this was a very good, well done, extensive test, as far as I can tell. And I thought they captured a lot of a lot of parts of my personality and way of life and socialization um well enough. I think they did a good job. So yeah. Your top five video games are Anti Chamber, The Witness, Minecraft, Dark Souls, and Sek Sekiro. I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike that. You're big, you're big on like the Soul Sport type game. Have you, have you been playing the um, the the? Oh, sorry, is it some long des long dynasty Wu Wu Song Wu? No, not no. That's, that's that's black. That's Black Myth. Not that one, but like the the Chinese like China Dark Souls. I Simi's been playing it, and he got his ass beat by Lubu Lubu in like fifty five streams. But sorry. Let me not let me not change my train of thought. So I'll probably I'll probably go with Bug Fables Everlasting Sapling. Then I'll probably go with Breath of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And this is where it gets hard. <laughs> I'll for now I'll say um I'll play it safe and I'll kind of give you some of my my probably my favorite game from certain from certain like genres or categories, right? So my favorite visual novel standalone right now is Valhalla, but I'm gonna say Virtue's Last Reward. That's the one that blew me the blew me the way. So I'll put Virtue's Last Reward first. Because I am a big visual novel guy. Fighting what's my favorite like fighting game? I don't know. I have no idea. Injustice 2, but Injustice 2 is not one of my favorite games of all time though. It's Hollow Knight. I'm gonna pull, pull Hollow Knight up there for now. We'll pull Hollow Knight. I will do. We'll do. We'll do a stream where we talk about my favorite game. For now, I'll pull Hollow Knight because that game. That game was my favorite game in 2017, and it moved me tremendously. I really like Hollow Knight. I want to say. I want to. Fighting games would probably be Skullgirls, actually. But I'm gonna say in the, maybe Indivisible. I don't know Indivisible. It used to be so easy because they were all Kingdom Hearts games in different orders. It used to be so. Oh, Ace Attorney. Um. Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations. Love that game. Love that game. For a long time, is it, do I have it over there? No, I don't. Super Donga Rampa 2, uh, Goodbye Despair was in that list. Steins Gate's up there too, but I'm a vision novel guy. So yeah. Um, China Dark Souls, I haven't heard of it. I've heard of Wukong, but that's not out yet. No, it's not that. It's, it's Wulong something. Like, yeah, I think this one is Wulong. When did plan on reading uh dune messiah it's a short read you can read it in a day i think it's a bit better than the first book because it has endings the that, that the second dune book i i i plan on i plan on reading more of the dune books i just thought at the time i think i was gonna i was gonna do them when the movies come out if they were to do all the movies so i was planning to like reading them before i watched the movies i actually still have to watch the first dude i have it on my computer i haven't watched it yet Hollow Knight is cool. I, I like Metroidvanias a lot. Um, I was the Castlevania guy. I actually didn't play I actually didn't play Metroid until I was like 16 for the first time. Like Metroid Prime were the first Metroid games I played, then I played them in order. But Metroid Dread, that was fantastic. But I like the, I like those kind of games. Let me look at my Switch real quick. I might I might get some inspiration. Hold on. Oh, I'm stupid. Snowboard Kids 2. What did I put last? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wow, I'm a fraud. I can't believe me. Bug Fables, Snowboard Kids 2, motherfucking Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll, I'll, I'll keep Hollow Knight there for now. It's fine. I mean, whatever I said earlier. But yeah, I'm really, I'm, gonna, I'm about to put, I'm going to put on camera right now. Y'all don't understand, man. This game, I love this shit, bro. This my this is my, 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 my this game. 
it pleases me in ways that a woman could never. I'm joking, but yeah, like it's, I love I love that game. Snowboard Kids is one of my favorite video games of all time. I'm a big Sonic guy. Sonic Mania is my favorite Sonic game. I'm looking up my thing right now. Chained Echoes is one of the best one of the best RPGs turn based RPGs I've ever played. I'm not gonna go crazy right now with VCC bias, but that's one of the 15 best video games I've ever played. I liked Eastward. Um, yeah. I like Rivals of Aether a lot. I'm a Rivals guy. Golf Story, Sports Story are cool. I like Blossom Tales. That was for my Zelda fix. I liked Coromon. I like Nexomon. Fantasy Strikes cool. Um, Shredder's Revenge was really, really fun. I actually don't... I don't know if I like Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't know. I don't play it. I don't know if I like it. I like Lethal Least Blade. Oh, River City Girls is one of my favorite... Be- is my favorite beat em up. I love River City Girls. I, River City Girls Zero is good. I gotta play two. Scott Pilgrim. I love that game. Fresh Tales was interesting. Friends of Ringo Ishikawa was fun. I like Stardew Valley, Bastion. I really like Hyper Life Drifter. I seen the new trail trailer for one of the new games. I can't remember what it's called. Hyper something something. That looks really fun. Transistor is cool. Ori the Blind Forest I like a lot. Dandara. I'm a Xenoblade. I'm a Xenoblade guy. I just don't like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, I like Xenoblade Chronicles the first one a lot. I like Xenoblade Chronicles X. I like Xenogears. Xenogears are one of my 10 favorite video games probably. AI the Somnium Files really good. I saw Shovel Knight, Guacamele, Curse of the Moon, Bloodstained, Nefarious, Fire Emblem, Owlboy, Kind of Class is really good. Battle Chef Brigade was really good. Shu was really good. Blaster Master was really good. Enter the Gungeon and, and Exit the Gungeon were whatever to me. Celeste was a really fun platformer. Murder by Numbers is not my thing. I, I really, really was I was I'm not smart enough for that game, but yeah, I I I'll be gaming, man. I'll be gaming. You love Chunsoft AI series. I actually have to play. Um, I have it here. Is it under here? Actually, I feel like I'm just. I feel like I'm just pulling out random items. Hold on. Don't look at my ass. Don't look at me. I'm double cheeked up. Yeah, it's right here. So these are these are the next two games I need to play. I need to play Xenoblade Chronicles Three. I got this for my birthday. I need to play this. And I and I like like honestly, yo, Kavan. This game honestly blew me away. The first one. This is Nirvana Initiative. The first one blew me away. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the truth of the the uh, prime minister, or whatever son, the truth of the eye, the machine, Falco. I couldn't believe it. I said, "Yo, this twist. This is moving me tremendously. This is so good. This is so good." Yeah, I fuck with this shit, man. I fugs with it. It was so great. Um, no, I, I, I'm, I'm going to play Xenoblade Chronicles three soon. It's just, it's just time. It's just time, bro. I need at least a hundred hours to play Xenoblade, and I don't have it right now. So just give me some time. Give me some time. All right. So I'm sorry. You got, you got, you got Jack and Daxter three. I like Jack and Daxter games. I don't, I don't, I don't remember which one's which though. GTA four, Ratchet and Clank, Arkham Knight, and Burnout Paradise top five games. I respect it. I respect it. Why can't we enjoy Vagabond? Because I said so. It's bad for your heart. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm get to Xenoblade Chronicles three soon. I have, I have, I, 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 for some reason, I have faith that it's, I'll like it. I won't, cause two, honestly, I didn't like two. I didn't like it. Well, the the story stuff for two was is is fine and how it ties into the other universe. I won't, I won't talk about the Trinity process and all that stuff. But like that was all fine. I just couldn't really. I don't like Rex. I don't really like um, Pyra. I like Mithra and, and um and Numa. They're fine. Pyra I don't really like. I don't like Nia. I don't like. I like Zeke and Pandoria. They were fine. Morag and um, Fire Bitch or whatever. I just just like there was a gacha mechanics. I did not like um Poppy and the what what was the name of the no palm we traveled with? I didn't like him. He was weird. The feel skills. I don't like that game, bro. I still like that game. I just don't. Oh. I see. I knew you're a I and a TJ because I am ENTP and we have some commonality. So I just ask what I would be if I was more introverted and a self hating perfectionist. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. 
No, nah, but I remember when I found that 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 website. I made it, me it, that stream was me. I think me, Vince, Simi, and East talking about our what we got. It was fun. It was fun. But yeah, yeah I am. I am that. So I remember Simi was Simi's was crazy because Simi's like introverted thing was one hundred percent introverted. Like that nigga does not like the outdoors. <laughs> He's not like the sun. He's not like it. Grass. He don't need that. I've been playing Dot Hack G use recently and been burning through those games. Are they, are, have they been good? The characters for most part of uh, two is awful. Yeah, it's kind of the problem for me for the most part. But it's story stuff really isn't like bad, especially like because you know every Xenoblade game has nothing to do with what's actually happening until we go to space and we're like, oh yes, the journey process there, the Lorthal and everything. Like, I won't. I'll keep it at that. So yeah. How do you think a TOG G game would would be if not mobile? Well, it depends on what type of game we're trying to make, right? Um, if I'm in a Tower of God game, personally speaking, I'd probably make it an action RPG. So kind of like, not when I say this, like don't literally think that, but I mean like a God of War, Kingdom Hearts type game where you have your combos and your skill tree and your whatever systems. I don't know if I would do traditional level up maybe make it by a milestone or something, but I'd probably be to do something of the sort like that if I made one. But I'm not a good at video game design. The only type of, the only video game I think that I could make that would be really good are, are, is a visual novel. I think I could make a really good visual novel. I do. I don't know if I can make a really good video game though. If you had me write, do story stuff and focus on script and dialogue, I could be a part of a video game process, but I, I couldn't make one. I don't have the skills to pay the bills for that. I don't got it. I'm not uh I can't code. I can barely turn my computer on. I don't know how to use a dishwasher. Like I'm like very old school, so <laughs> it's not it's not gonna work. But that's probably what I would do. I think what well, I think a turn based a turn based for Tower God would work. But I think one of the mobile games already do that, if I remember correctly. So that could probably work. But Kubera is the one that I think would make a great visual a great visual novel. I would love a visual novel of Kubera. That would work. I think. I don't think you could do anything else with Kubera realistically, but I want you to think about it. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Side distance twenty fifteen. The story the, the story of the story of piercing gaze or glare is already done. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to get it to become a graphic novel. <clears throat> the second story that I'm writing called Snow Globe, that's still a work in progress. But yes, I I, I I spent six years writing a story, and it, that one's done. But the current, but I I I'll be honest, Snow Globe I haven't worked on in like four months. I need to, I really need to, but yeah, I like to write. I write a lot. Before I started making videos, the thing that I did the most was write articles for Geeks of Color, for Blurds Online, and then whatever random outlet would take me. Even though they'd be like, "We'll pay you in exposure." No, it's ex good exposure and experience for your portfolio. But now I don't work for free. I, I sucked it up back then, but I don't work for free no more. Plus my own blog post, but I write a lot. When I was in the 11th grade, I won a writer's craft, a writer's craft competition. So one of my short stories are published in a book. So Naya Books and Read Through Review coming soon. <laughs> They're actually, I actually wanted to do a, um. the problem is, is like, I have so many eclectic interests and things that I want to do on the channel. Maybe I should make a separate channel for it. Probably is is, is, is the literal answer. But you have, to, you have to understand, the people come for Tower of God. I could come up with so many interesting things, and maybe maybe it's the one of the rare videos that people appreciate. But the people come to this channel for TOG and not much else. Because I promise you, the moment I finish reading the Kangaroo Palace. I was like, yo, I want to make a review on this. I want to talk about it. It's the it's the duo that makes Monstrous, my favorite ongoing comic book right now, graphic novel. Um, Marjorie Liu, Liu and um, is it Sana Takeda? Sana, right? Sana, Sana. There we go, Sana Takeda. So, but I'm like, who the fuck is gonna know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like four people, so I don't bother. I, I, I do want to do the Monstrous and East of West reviews regardless because the recommendations that I did for some of the earlier image comic stuff that I talked about, like Deadly Class and Rat Queens, have accumulated a decent amount of views over time. That's all. 
You mentioned it. You mentioned it a few times. You have three jobs. What are they? I consider this one of them. Just so you know. So like, just like like YouTube and Twitch streaming and making videos, I consider one job. The other one that I do is I'm an editor. So I edit. I edit articles. I proofread articles. I mess with the user interface for three for three different websites, and then I and then I then I work for a, a company that moves people in and out of houses or in and out of storage. So that's the manual labor stuff that I do while I'm up 4.30 in the morning, killing myself, breaking my back. Well, I'll wake up 4.30 to work out, then I go to work for 6.30. So, yeah. Um, Don Hack to you has been good. There is so much effort in those games. But, yeah, those three things make up my stream income. Um, Bahad, wait, Don Hack keeps me so good. There's so much effort in these games. It makes you feel like you're playing a, a game in a game, and it super works. The dungeoneering and combat for the first game is anything special other than the avatar battles, which are which are easy and fun. If but if you can feel the improvement when going to the second game in trilogy, okay, that's always important progression. Knowing that you're going on an up, upwards trajectory always helps. I will say though, it's one of those earlier games that the story and arc, uh, wait, full arc of characters aren't finished in a single game. It literally ends with next time. Okay, that's fine. So it's kind of like Xeno, maybe like Xeno Saga. Xeno Saga has three parts. Now remember, it it's like to, to be continued, but. A character arc could finish in another game. You definitely need a new channel to do other things. Facts. I really do. I've always wanted to make a book, but I have, like, no ideas. <laughs> well, my best advice to aspiring writers is always to draw inspiration from your real life. Base characters off people that you know, events that took place to you, and things like that. I always tell people, I don't, like, I don't necessarily, like, not that Frieza, Frieza, Frieza doesn't have inspiration from, like, you know, alien and other pop culture um, works. But he thought that landlords or whatever, or shark or loners or whatever, like, the worst people on the planet. They were the worst people who ever existed. He probably had a bad experience with one, and that's how the concept of Frieza was developed off, off of, like, a, a landlord that he had. Like, I encourage people to take inspiration from their own life in order to create and tell the stories that they want to tell. But so, yeah. Um, Missed notification. Well, you here now, man. You here now. Um, now, if you're talking about Brandon Sanderson books, now yeah, I know, but that cover that interests me. That one's called. It's called the Tangle Root Palace. Bra Sanderson is interesting because all of you guys got into like Way of Kings and whatnot well after I stopped reading it. Because even was it Addy who asked me if I read Red Rising? I'm like, yeah, like 2016. Like, that's when the first book came out. And I'm like, yeah, that's when I read it. I want to, I would love to have these conversations with you guys, but I don't remember shit. I got to go back and read it. And I don't feel like reading that right now. I just don't. So what if I'm releasing it? I don't have, a, I don't have any, any window in mind. I would like it to be out before I'm 40. That's my goal. 35, maybe like five years. I, the guy who does my like avatar, like to do like the one avatar of me, like the young paperwork one. Um, when he's done with his current project, he wants to be him. We're gonna have a talks about him being the artist because I took a I took a writing class. How many years ago did I take this class? And then this class taught you how to write for literally like everything. So it taught you how to write a novel, it taught you how to write short stories, how to write a movie script, TV script, how to write an episodic TV script with other writers in the room, how to write a play, how to write. If you're working with an artist and you can't draw so that the artist knows what to do, but you give them enough leeway to express themselves um, artistically. And that was a really helpful class. It was. So it was online, though. And I, it was like it was like nine hundred dollars. I got I guess I got it on a discounted rate, but that's pretty cool. Before I ask a question, was this an official release stream or the new raw stream? Oh, I did that stream already. This this is whatever. Whatever you want to say or ask, go ahead and ask. I already did the Tower of God stream. You're on page. You're on my Patreon. You'll see it. You'll see it after I after I log off and edit it. So you are good. So don't worry. Go. We just. I'm just. We're just chopping it up because after I I live reacted and then I read it and I read I read and then I talked about it. But then um, acted it and then I read it and I read I read and then I talked. Sorry, I heard myself in my ear. It threw me off. I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah. I got okay. You can oh fair fair enough. I'm gonna wrap this up in like maybe maybe ten minutes or so. But thank you guys for coming through. I always appreciate it.
I know I I know I I know these are getting a little earlier and earlier. Uh, usually around now is when I want to start, but I will at the time, and I'm going out later, so that's why. I am running a middle a middle grade sci sci fi book. I'm excited for it. That's dope. I think it's I think I think important stories for younger people, children, and like preteens and stuff are are very important and vital. A lot of a lot of the way that I viewed the world growing up was shaped by the fiction that I can that I that I consumed. So, I think that's very important. Just don't write one of them weirdo books that they're putting in them them schools, and them teaching kids how to diddle themselves. Please don't do that. But yeah, make make some make some dope sci fi content. This game, bro. Have y'all ever have y'all ever seen greatness like this? You know what was the biggest reason why I played this game? There was a Jamaican kid. I said, "Yo, he just like me for real." I'm not Jamaican. I'm not from Jamaica, but my dad's Jamaican, so I was like, "Yo, his name is Jam. He's Jamaican. He just like me, and he a kid." <laughs> uh, I like and snowboarding is the one is the one winter activity that I like. I'll snowboard. I like snowboarding. I don't like skiing. Okay, I can't say that. Skiing doesn't look cool. I've never actually tried to ski though. It doesn't look cool. Pizza, French fries. I don't do that shit. I'm trying to shred the slopes. Look like Sean White. The black Sean White, the black Tony Hawk, but on but on but on snow. That's what I'm trying to look like. So, recently I got into those present AI vids. It gets it gets. I feel like it gets everybody to some degree at some point. I've I've beaten I've beaten I've beaten the addiction, but that one day I had to have watched over 30 videos of the AI of the AI ones. People send me some here and there, and I'll watch them, but I don't I don't seek them out anymore. But I got I got sucked into those. Hearing Trump talk about how ass Wano was was giving me life. AI Trump. That was fucking hilarious. It was like, this shit sucks. This shit's mid. It took it, it took as long as my presidency and nothing happened. I'm like, damn. I was never really into video games growing up. I was a cartoon head. My favorite show was Ninjago. Ninjago? That sounds so familiar. Is that a, For some reason, it says Bionics. But also, I want to say that's... Free, no, I'm thinking of Ninjara from friggin... arms wow i'm like what's the fucking switch game you know and, 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 the, and the crazy part is i remembered it because i thought of twin tell and her fat ass in the in the screen <laughs> ai ai trump slandering why don't need to see that find that i can watch that actually i'm gonna call it a stream when i watch it when i was, when I was watching it on stream you can watch it on stream then i'll call it a, um the question is will i find it of my history. Yes. Okay. So where's the Lego Ninja? I was thinking of okay. So I was thinking of Bionics for some reason. But okay. So I was kind of okay. 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 I was thinking of Bionics or like Connects or something. But I'm like that sounds so familiar. I don't know. Yeah. Not AI. AI presidents. Is this, is this the one one though? And that is why Long Ring Long Land is the best arc in all of One Piece. No Where to rank the Wanakuni arc. And that is... Yeah, yeah, yeah there's this one, there's this one. Is Ninjas that mix tornadoes? Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm, 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 but I understand, like, so, like, Infinite, are you, are you very interested in animation? I've always been a guy who likes animation a lot. I'm very, very, I love animation. I think it's, like, the coolest thing ever. Sit down, you're late. Yeah, it, it's it's no, nah, it's not your guys's fault. I don't stream this early usually. I understand. I I again, I was I was home. I had the time, and I'm going out later, so I decided to just get it done while I could. So I apologize. But this is about this this is I think this is this is what I was talking about though. Uh, I'll make it a little bigger. Put it down there so you can see me. I'll make it embiggen. And then you can see this, 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 this one's actually funny. I am going to step away for a quick second because I just got a tinkle, but I'll be right back. But yeah, listen, to, listen. To, first of all, the respect on Davy back fight. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get American citizenship and, old, and vote for the Orange Man.
This is why Long Ring Long Land is the best arc in all of One Piece. No cap. Be that as it may, it's still going in the C tier. Screw you, Obama. Quit complaining. It's better than it deserves, and you know it. You just don't appreciate the true genius of the masterfully written Foxy. You're illiterate. Your mom's illiterate. Gentlemen, please, we're all Nakama here. Foxy for Straw Hat. Now, I know this is still fresh for all of us, but we have to decide where to rank the Wanakuni arc. This won't take long. S tier. Easily Oda's best work to date. An epic adventure that sits at the very pinnacle of the series. Jesus Christ, I can't believe this crap. How could you possibly disagree? I agree that it sits at the pinnacle. The pinnacle of mid. Wanakuni is the most overrated arc in the entire history of manga. It took four years to punch a fish into the ground. That's longer than my entire presidency. It was only half the length of mine. Yeah, Donald, this seems like a you issue. And Kaido wasn't just a fish. He was a dragon-oni kind of thing. Thing? You don't even know what he is. Maybe if Oda didn't rush his flashback, we wouldn't have this problem. I will agree that Oda could have given more time and development to Kaido, but Wanakuni had already gone on for so long by then. I think he got plenty of time. Did you even read the arc, Sleepy Joe? Falling asleep next to a volume of manga doesn't count as reading. Like you can read. You were anime only up until last year. That's because I appreciate voice acting and seeing things in color. Unlike you, I didn't grow up watching things in black and white. Donald, the problem is the pacing. I agree that the voice actors add a lot to the anime, but every episode... Yes, I know what the raw talk already. Yeah, that was the that was a previous video already uh, already unpublished. I remember liking Ninjago because of how they balanced the Red Ninja. Him having an MC syndrome when he isn't MC was unique. Long with Long was actually fun to read. Facts. I love comics, but I can't draw. I love. Francia. <laughs> if I can draw, I'll be releasing my comic ideas out of my head. I I I I always say that I, I think I'm held back by my artistic skills. If I could draw, it would be over for y'all. I've be, been over. Gas gassing Wano buys this. Yeah, yeah, could is so dragged out. So it's no different to the manga Wanakuni then. Worst arc of all time, obvious C tier. How can it be both the worst and a C tier? I think C tier is a little low. There was a lot to like about Wanakuni. Act one was superb. The Odin flashback is a crowning moment. It's, it's all kind of funny because Obama is always usually like the middle of the ground, more moderate, like words, like voice of reason while while Sleepy Joe and uh and and Donaldo, <laughs> DR7, Donaldo is so fucking funny to me. I was watching a FIFA thing and they called him Donaldo. One of the series and the increased focus on Zoro was much appreciated. What focus? Oda revealed Zoro's parents in an SBS for Christ's sake and whatever happened to the Grim Reaper, that plot line went nowhere. Worst arc of all time, obvious D tier. I agree. After building up so much focus on Zoro, Oda really dropped the ball there. But overall, Wanakuni is still a phenomenal arc, and you know it. Phenomenal crap! Donald, what about Gear 5th? Surely you can't deny how amazing that was? Yeah, Gear 5th was great, but there's a kernel of sweet corn in every big, beautiful dump. Weird analogy, but okay. I actually... <laughs> that is a weird analogy? I'm sorry. Gear 5th is not like the... It's not like, to me, it's not like the pinnacle and the best part of Wanda. It was not 5th gear. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I don't. This just says Brago stream with try with Ty and Dritz. <laughs> Some show called Dragon Boost or Lock Freeze account. I never heard of Dragon Boost. I actually thought Gear Fifth was a bit too goofy. I liked it a lot better when Luffy fought seriously. Are you serious? Gear Fifth was the only redeeming part of this entire arc, and you didn't like it? I just wanted the climax of the arc to be a bit more serious. I mean, we're talking about Luffy finally defeating an Emperor of the Sea. Yonko. What? It's Yonko. What the hell is a Yonko? It means four emperors, you baka. Learn Japanese. In the official <laughs> translation, it's four emperors. In the official translation, it's Zolo, Joe. Effing Zolo, for Christ's sake. How can you read that garbage? Because it's the most accurate translation to convey the... A he said Zolo. Um, Gear 5, love? Because it looks fun. It's fun. It looks... It looks... It's aesthetically distinctly different from anything Luffy has done, and people like that he's happy-go-lucky and cheery. It ties into Joy Boy. I get why people like it. That's not that's not weird to me. It's just not. I, I listen Gear Second, and I I like Night. I still think Nightmare Luffy's a little cooler, personally speaking. I like Gear. My favorite Luffy form from a design aesthetic standpoint is still Gear Four Snake Man. That's just me though. The actual story. Yeah, well, in the story, I do like that panel where he puts the goggles. I don't know how he did it, but the one with the goggles and the smile, I like that panel. I just don't know what he's doing. It's supposed to be Zoro and not Zolo. Knock him up, please. We're supposed to be talking about Wanakuni. Worst arc of all time. Obvious E tier. Rocky's putting it even lower now. He's obviously trolling. Joe, someone disagreeing with your trash takes doesn't make them a troll. It makes them a perfectly well balanced human being. I mean, for crap's sake. If people knew about your trash takes in 2020, then I wouldn't have lost the election. Donald, I'm going to need you to justify your opinion here. I personally wasn't the greatest fan of Wanakuni, but you need to articulate what you didn't like about it. It was too short. 
What do you mean too short? You just said it was too long. It was too long until it was too short. Donald, you're making less sense than the filler arc where Luffy fought a dugong. That was a perfect dugong. Joe, I'm actually in Donald's camp here. I do think the ending of Wanakuni was very rushed. Everything after Gear 5th was paced very strangely, as if Oda was desperate to just move on and forgot to properly end the story. I think it was paced just fine. You would, you dick rider. You probably have an annual pass to Oda's house just to ride his dick every day. You and I both know he's too busy to be giving dick rides, Donald. Wrong. His dick doesn't draw the manga, Joe. How do you know that, Donald? Maybe that's how he gets so much done every day. Nakama, please. We need to get back on track. Now, the most disappointing thing about Wanakuni to me is that Yamato didn't join the crew. Yamato was never going to join the crew. You were delusional if you believed that. Wrong. Oda clearly set Yamato up as a crew member. Then why isn't Yamato on the crew right now, Joe? Because Oda is clearly planning something else for Yamato down the line, you idiot. Dick rider. Illiterate. Personally, I was more disappointed that Carrot didn't join the crew. Oh my god. Rock, you can't be serious. Oda had been building (laughs) Carrot up since Whole Cake Island. She was the obvious choice and would have made an S-tier lookout. Only if the S stands for shit character. I agree with Donald. Carrot had potential, yes, but Oda pushed her into the background during Wanakuni and made it clearer than Absalom that she wouldn't be joining. I disagree. I think Oda could have made now the bar clear, clear that Absalom not moving. made it work. Spoken like a true furry. That means nothing coming from someone who unironically loves Foxy. Your opinion means less to me than Lelouchia Kingdom did to Emu. He's the best villain in the series, and you have yet to make a convincing argument otherwise. Foxy for Straw Hat. What about the Odin flashback? Surely we can all agree that was amazing. Oh yeah, Peak Fiction, one of the best written characters in all of One Piece, and it was wasted on a flashback. I still vividly recall the moment where they landed on Laugh Tale as one of the greatest in the series. You know what would have made Wano a decent arc? Here we go again. Wano would be decent if the raid failed. Barack, he's doing it again. The raid should have failed. It was the only possible way to create a sense of narrative tension at that point. Donald, the only way the raid would have failed... That was what that was more just thing, right? That 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 content creator that the raid was gonna fail. I don't failed is if it was one of your businesses. F you too, Joe. Donald, we've been over this on our weekly One Piece podcast. What purpose would the raid failing serve? It would add stakes to the narrative. Delicious, juicy, tension-filled narrative stakes. And taking another two years to publish a whole second raid. I don't mind waiting for peak. You just complained that Wanakuni was too long already. Is your senile mind completely incapable of comprehending the nuances of storytelling? It was too long in some places and too short in other places. You're just upset that your headcanon didn't come true. No, I'm upset because Oda fell off. Nakama, please, we all know that Oda has not fallen off after after all, Egghead Island is a superb arc so far. Oh yeah, peak fiction. Easily one of the best written situations in all of One Piece. I don't agree with this, by the way. I don't like Egghead, but you know, go in the rock. Except it's painfully easy to figure out who the traitor is. The alliance between Luffy and Rob Lucci was unexpected but perfect for the moment. And the mystery aspect is a very fresh take on the series. Good, you see? No one has fallen off. Oda may have just had a bit of a stumble during the finale of Wanakuni. Worst arc. You're the worst arc. Wrong. I accomplished more in my four years of presidency than Oda did with his four years of Wano. Are you seriously saying that Wanakuni was worse than Syrup Village? The arc that turns the most people off the entire series? I will admit that Usopp's design is not for everyone and that Kuro's plan was stupid. However, Syrup Village was still peak Oda before he got bogged down in unnecessarily long and convoluted story structures. Donald, it takes time to tell a good story. We needed that time to properly explore the vassals. The vassals? Oh, please, Kiku didn't even visit Izo's grave? Oda barely gave them any development, and their fight against Kaido was a colossal disappointment. I really enjoyed Raizo's fight. Oh, please? That waste of time? All they did was stand there doing nothing for 30 chapters. Do you really think comics are better than manga? I'll answer that in a second. I'm just curious. This is, this is almost done. It was a reference to the will of Kazuki Odin, you dumbass. It's a nuanced take. He stood there boiling in the pot for his vassals, and Raizo standing in the flames was his own personal trial. You clearly understand nothing about narrative and character depth. It's a fight that grows on you in retrospect. Although I agree it may seem a bit underwhelming compared to the worst generation versus the Emperor's. Oh yeah, peak fiction. One of the best fights in all of One Piece. Except it's a shame they ruined it by having Luffy fight Kaido one-on-one. That fight was the culmination of everything we as fans had been waiting for during the past ten years. Wait, Sleepy Joe, who's your favorite member of the worst generation don't tell me it's trafalgar law it's obviously trafalgar law he has the coolest design the most op devil fruit and deserves his own spin-off series after one piece is over i couldn't think of a more mid opinion well who's your favorite member donald useless captain kid you mean useless captain mid you take that back oh please law carried kid throughout the whole big mom fight and you know it i'd say it's the most disappointing thing i'd ever seen from kid however now that he's fighting shanks i'm sure he'll top that disappointment in no time kid low diff shanks you're delusional just like 
like all kid fans. I wasn't delusional when I slept with your mother last night. Yes, you were. My mother's dead, dumbass. Nakama, please. We still have to finalize the ranking for the Wanakuni arc. Now, I don't think it's perfect by any means, but it's still a fantastic achievement of storytelling within the manga medium. I suggest putting it in B tier for now and seeing how it appreciates with time. Too low. Too high. Which means it's just right. Now, next up, we have the Marineford arc. Worst arc of all time. Obvious F tier. He's an obvious F tier. <laughs> Yeah, I I still enjoy those, but I I I got I got those out of my system for the most part. Um, I don't think that comics are better than manga, or manga are better than comics. Um, personally speaking, my preference is comic books. Yes, that's just me though. I'm not saying that they're better or worse. That's just my personal preference. The thing that I found though is that. Currently, both mediums, or whatever you want to call them, are struggling from a mainstream appeal standpoint. The things that are generally marketed towards us, I think, are ass, or not that great. But I could always take the time to find something super dope. That's all it really is. I think comics and manga are really not, are really very, very similar, the same way I see anime and cartoons. I really don't see them as different things. It's a graphic novel. You put words and you put pictures in a fucking book. You read it. You look at the art. You look at the, you read the words. Like, they're not different in that sense. The only difference is really where it comes from, the styles and traditions and standards that are unique to the place in which the graphic novel is being created. So in Eastern storytelling, you see a lot more of their influence and their culture permeate throughout the graphic novel over here in the West like North America, for example, you'd see the same things. If I read a story that comes out of Jamaica, there's certain things that are culturally significant about Jamaica that I see throughout the narrative. Um, and like here in North America or here in Canada, at the very least, 13 is an unlucky number. A 20-story building has 20 floors, but when you reach 12, you skip floor 13 on the like elevator button shit, and it goes to 14. I think in Japan, it's four. Because four could be yo and she, and she could mean death. So characters like Piccolo, who have four digits in the manga, have five in the anime because you can't depict, like, four digits for some reason. Like, it's very weird, specific things like that. So I've, I, I'm i one of the rare people where, like, I don't go, like, American comics are better. Manga's better. Ma ma webtoons are better. It's all the same shit to me. It just comes from different places. Is the story that I'm reading good or not? That's all I care about. I don't care about talking peak is peak list. I don't, that's, that's, that's not my thing. I don't care. So that's my answer. But my preference is comic books. At this point in my life, for at least the past six years, I, for a long time, it was manga. But at this point in my life, comic books are my preference. Um, Biden was cooking with his kid takes facts. The Trump arc on serious human series was better than all I agree. Um, we're like not talking more about Fanta's crazy since she was chasing him. You would think he would talk more about him. Totally, I agree with that. Maybe when he when he gets focused again and he was allowed to showcase more of his powers because Bam will be stronger and so will our, our the crew and the company. I say crew and the company, but the, our our gang. Maybe then it'll happen. I think manga tells better stories than average than manga, while the West definitely. Okay, you think comics tell better stories than, than average? than manga while the west is barely going towards that direction or i guess you reversed it um again it just depends on what you're reading honestly the 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 thing that i've always thought manga does better on average than comic books i guess always is action i think the dynamic movement and the way that they portray action has always generally been better but I actually do think that um, the more Western stories that I read are better, like the central plot and subplots, in my opinion, this is just anecdotally speaking, have generally been better. One thing that I've noticed a lot about Eastern storytelling, and that includes the novels that I read, is the third act always ends up becoming very absurd and supernatural. And there's often times where I have to suspend a lot of my di belief or disbelief or whatever in order for me to enjoy something like that. Where sometimes when in like a comic book or in like a more North American story, that humongous leap in logic or whatever isn't isn't there. I'm gonna use Dong and Rampo one as an example. I guess plug your ears or leave for like a minute if you never played the first Dong and Rampo and you still plan on playing it or whatever. 
but Hope's Peak Academy is a school where all the like the most brilliant people come to. You can be like the best get the best guitarist, the best detective. You're like ultimate high school level detective, meaning you're the best detective in the world. And if you graduate from that school, you're, you're supposed to become a very important, influential figure for the gen- for the next generations. But the school pretty much gets taken over by somebody named Junko Enoshima, who is a despair merchant. And the whole time we're trying to figure out why we're locked in this school, why we're doing these weird murder games or whatever. And then you like learn the world ended. And I'm like, bro, what? Like the world ended. And I'm like, I'm so fucking tired of Japan, bro. I'm so tired of them. Like I, there's always just incredible, incredible leap, incredible leap where I'm like, wait, what? Did I miss something? So I still love that game. That like, I still like. I still like that game and whatnot. It's not like it was like completely nonsense. It's just like they always. I find that those stories always do that. I find that it's more grounded in, in Western storytelling. That being said, from what I know, China doesn't seem to have this problem. From what I can tell, but I haven't. I can't say I've. I mean, I've been watching and reading a lot of things from China since 2019. But yeah. Anyways. Current mainstream mangas are too fast-paced and don't give you time to actually connect with characters while mainstream comics are just Twitter virtue signaling threads with pictures next to it. Ah, yo, yo, put that comment in the Hall of Fame. Oh, my goodness. Bo- Spitting. Ma- current, yo, mainstream manga just quick, fast-paced, real fast. Oh, I don't feel any emotional connection or attachment to any of these characters. And all comic books do is try to fucking virtue signal to the radical progressive super left. We're all gay and trans and black and POC and do the blah and fat. Like it's all it's all they do. You're not wrong. He's not wrong. He was spitting. Spitting. I just joined. You're talking about Donga Rampa, aren't you? I was for a second, yes. Who even reads comics now which are not DC or Marvel? Most people reading manga now, indie comics like image not having the same impact on manga as the West. Well, if you're talking about literal numeric impact and numbers i don't have those numbers on me and i don't care i'm not i don't move i don't move with the crowd i do what i want if 80 people run that way i will walk this way myself and take my own path that's how i am so i don't particularly care about that that being said i think image comic i think the stories that i read in image comic books more often than not are better than the majority of manga that i've been reading for the last six years and it's not even close east of west low monstrous um nail biter i already ran out blank well blank is not image habibi is really good like independent comics again all that really matters is the competency of the creative team and their ability to execute i don't care if that shit comes from mars where those martians cooking then it's a good then it's a good comic that's all i care about i really it's not, I have no dog in this race because I feel like, it's like Marvel versus DC. Am I more of a DC guy? Sure. But I don't care what side of the fence you fall on. Do you think Marvel's better? Like, like movies are better. I mean, sure. If, you want to, if that's what you believe, then believe that. Why do you care what I think? Who cares? I, image over everything. My favorite, my favorite comic book publishing company is Image Comics. I like Boom Studios. I like Valiant. I like Dark Horse. I like IDW. I like the imprints of Marvel and DC. I like shit like Vertical or Wildstone. When a Wildstone was a thing, I like all that shit. You know? I am willing to do the work to find the games, the shows, the movies, and the things that I want to read. I don't need it marketed to me. I don't need Twitter. I don't need YouTube. I want to find a... If I wake up tomorrow and say, I want to read a story where niggas are snowboarding and it's cool, I'll find a story. I know what I'm doing. I don't require, you know, like I don't. Anyways, yeah. I also don't think Indian Western comics have as good art art styles as manga. I mean, that's 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 a matter of personal opinion. Fair enough. I disagree though. Again, who's drawing? It's just one of those things. Like, it's just who's drawing. You you might have a preference. You might have a preference for um the anime aesthetic. I would say, from the time I was like what eight to like eighteen. For some reason, I always preferred anime style, anime, like even like when a Western cartoons like Avatar The Last Airbender and stuff, or like maybe like Voltron or whatever would emulate um, the Eastern style more. 
But all I care about is if you can design a good character. Are you designing? Are you designing a a a good character design with a good art style? I really don't. Again, it's just not a it's not it's not a battle to me. I don't really care like that. What's up, Simi? What's popping, my brother? How you doing, G? The fights aren't as good in comics, from what I read. That's the one thing I definitely that I agree with. I always thought manga did fights, on average, much better than um. I, I, I said that earlier already. That's the one thing. But I do think that um. Western what, comics tell better stories more often than not. So, sorry, give me a sec. Because the like idea and concept, because I see a lot of people on Twitter with a lot of huge followings use they use lies to push a point right and i get it to some degree i think the people who do like cacao art stuff from like adventure time and whatnot are unserious because they don't even storyboard so shit like steven universe and like big mouth and some of these shows i know big mouth is not related to cal arts i don't think are fucking hideous and i see why people cook them but you're gonna you're gonna look you're gonna look at me and tell me this shit's ugly Oh, manga just so superior. This shit's just ugly? Like, bro, who is drawing it? This shit is fire. Who is the artist? All I care about. Are you a competent artist? Can you portray things in a vibrant manner that makes like, like, bro, this shit looks fire. Well drawn. Like, I, that's all I care about at the end of the day. This big insect thing that they're on in space. It's all about how you portray it, man. It's all about execution. That's that's one thing you'll learn about me someday. When it comes to, is Marvel better than DC? Is manga better than comics? Is anime better than cartoons? I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. So yeah, and and I and I think that Sanada Takeda is one of the greatest artists in our modern time right now. Man, Tangaroot Palace, monstrous, goddamn motherfucking night eaters. Chef's kiss is beautiful. It's beautiful. But you know, shout shout out the manga though on anime and shit. They be doing their thing. I fugs with it. I'm not hating on Western comics, but it feels like a game when picking one to read. But at least when I read manga, I know I'm getting some some something somewhat decent. Well that your last sentence I disagree with. You're not gonna get. I don't. I've read tons of manga that I think are just absolutely from top to bottom shit, and I've read comics who are from top to bottom absolutely shit. I don't. It, I can't pick a random manga or comic and know it's gonna be good. I don't. I don't agree with that last part, but fair enough. You should post some of the '80s Spider-Man and '90s uh, panels to beat the art allegations. That's enough for Twitter people. Nah, I don't care what they think. Again. I just moved the I move the beat of my own drum. I don't care what the people think. Whatever you can think what they want. Oh, my, like comic book, comic book arcs ugly, and I'll just sit there and read my comic books. You could yell that with a bullhorn in my ear, and I'm enjoying my comic book in peace. Okay, nothing to do with me. I got nothing to prove. Am I drawing this shit? I'm not drawing it. You're not. You're not roasting my work. I can't draw, so it got nothing to do with me. Like when people are like you fear my hero overtaking One Piece in the sales. Do I get paid when One Piece is the number one selling manga every year? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the things people come up with, I just don't understand it. It's just so weird to me. Just be normal. Be a regular person. I'm a regular dude. God. So, do I at least do I agree that at least DC and Marvel are trash? I said that like a million times today. I haven't read a big two comic since like 2016. I didn't like the new Fifty Two. We just we just spoke about um the fact that all they do is virtue signal. But yeah, currently right now, what the hell is Marvel and DC doing? But I have never been on board with Marvel and DC from top to bottom the way other people were. I wasn't a Zack Snyderite or Zack Snyder tard. Released the Snyder cut. Did I want it? Sure, but I wasn't gonna kill myself to do that. And I never thought th I thought the MCU had bad movies from the first phase. I'm. I just. I just speak my mind clearly, and I like to. I like. To, I don't like to always paint a broad brush with with an umbrella statement. I like to go case by case, um, and paint everything accordingly.
more often than not. Some I have to generalize. Like it's it's unrealistic to not generalize, but I turn up my best not to. But th- but these are things that I've been reading since I was like four years old. I have a very very deep understanding, especially historically, of how manga and anime grew in my life. I just read what I want to read. Did I find season seven, season three? Season seven, season three, season three. I've been found. That's been out for over a year. I think you mean the fourth and current season. I have on numerous occasions on some on my stream said if you want the links, you have to DM me. I'm not, I'm not tweeting it out, but you have to DM me on Twitter or DM me on um on Discord or something, and I'll send you where I found them. I have all the episodes in 1080p with good with good English subtitles. Yes, I haven't watched them yet though. I'm not time. No, it's not. It's 1080. It's 1080p. 1080p. As, as I I I I would I would argue it's like nine hundred or something p low key, but it's fine. I I think it looks good. So just 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 for, just 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 DM me, remind me. Sometimes I'd be wondering if One Piece and My Hero are just some of these people to be to cope with the fact they are fatherless. My dad is cooler and gets more money. Head ass. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know. I don't know. Um. I've I've spoken about this a couple of times, but something changed over the years in the terms in terms of the way we analyze, look, and judge media. Like I'll give you an example, and obviously this might this might if this upsets you, I don't know what to tell you. You know, grow up. Diversity and representation is not that important to me. I understand its importance. I'm not saying it's not essential, but I just care if it's good. I don't care if five cis straight white men made this story about a white guy with a gun doing something in space. Is it a good fucking movie or not? That's all I care about. Oh, no, you're going to read this. Why? Oh, it's all black creative team and there's black people in it. Is it a good book? I don't care who made it or why. I just, well, to some degree, but I just want, I just, I just want it to be good. That's all I care about. I'm not interested in virtue signaling and this and that or other. I don't care. So, and that's how I've always been. I just want a quality experience if I'm reading, watching, or playing something. So, yeah. Do you think it's easier to give someone a lot of manga suggestions versus a lot of comic suggestions? Uh, Yes, I think manga is easier to get into and much easier to access through non-legal means, so to speak. You just, you could, I could literally Google Golden Kamui, Kamui Online. And I'll find it and I can read it. So, yes, I think manga in general is easier to get into because they're, most of them are all self-contained stories. But if I'm going to suggest people independent comics, it's not hard. It's usually because people, when they think comics, they only think Marvel, DC, and superheroes. It's super? Superheroes. They think cowls, capes, and tights. And and here's the thing I've 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 made this comment at nauseum for four years. This is the funniest thing about like big anime manga fans that always make me laugh about this. They'll complain that people think their medium is childish, it's just hentai, and they'll have these stupid overgeneralizations about what a manga and anime are, right? And then they will look at comic books and be like, I don't really care about superheroes, so I don't read comics. Is every single manga a Shonen Jump battle manga? Like Dragon Ball? Or is there Mecha? Love? Sci-fi? A cyberpunk? Um, directed at kids? Directed at women? Directed at older men? Younger men? Blah, blah, blah. Why did you think comic books were any different? To me, that's a lack of critical thinking. I think you're stupid for thinking that. I'm sorry. I think you're dumb. It's dumb. I don't get that. Because they're the first person who will cry about people are being mean to my medium and disrespectful and turn around and be like, oh yeah, all comic books are just like Superman. And I'm like, well, why did you think that? That's dumb. Frostbite is about a world where basically the entire Earth, the entire earth is in an ice age because four, five scientists fucked up and the number one thing that people fight over are heat resources, heaters, jackets, thermalware, things of that nature, yada, yada. Got nothing to do with niggas, super, superheroes and supervillains. It's just the weirdest thing. I don't get it. Because no mediums like that. You think every medium, you think every fucking video game is Call of Duty? You think every video game is 2K? Like, come on. This is why I can't. You see me in the chat. That's why I don't take seriously people like, oh, video games are ass now. What do you play? Overwatch and fucking Valorant every day. Like, you're not serious. 
Take take two seconds to look for a dope game, and you'll find one. Sorry. Uh, give her a deal or try. Or do you just want the black people? I actually, I'm that's on the list. I know about that one. It's on the list. It's on the list. Um, was busy. I missed the last stream. Only time to say hi and dip. Oh no, I just I say this ad nauseum in general. But yeah, start to completely disagree with the manga fights better than comic fights. They just use the form use to the format of manga, aka long running. Lots of comics aren't long running. Kill or be killed. Still got some of my favorite fight scenes I've ever seen. I respect that, Simi. I still think manga on average does it better. But I there's so many comics that I read that have incredible fight scenes. Just that it's just. When I see people on Twitter say that, I just don't feel like fighting them. I don't care. You know, I'm tired. I would be happy if the story was made by my people, but it's great. It was great, but I ain't going to gash these stories because they're made by my people with skin color. Your brain doesn't connect with my brain. I don't care. Facts. Comics usually don't have entire issues geared to a single fight. That's also true. Keanu's comic Berserker was flames on the fights and almost all fights too. Luther Stroll's really good as well. I actually think Rock Up Church with Rat Queens when he was the artist was really good. You can also find Golden Camui in the beer in the bear fucking head size. <laughs> I th- think you'll make a top ten whatever comic book list. I'm gonna I, I, I actually already made my comic my my favorite thirty comic book list. I have to turn it into a graphic that I can do it. That and the video game thing will be the next two things that I kinda do. Like f- my thirty my thirty favorite video game or thirty favorite comics. You will see mostly independent stuff, but there are some big two comics on there. You guys know I like Innocence Lost a lot. The the origin story of, of Laura Kinney, X twenty three, the all new Wolverine. If you watch Logan, that was the girl with the claw the two claws and the claws in her feet. That's my favorite superhero origin story. It's one of the best comic books I've ever read, read ever read. Um, games are watched these days. No, they're not. We still need the best writers, best writers tier list. Oh, let me write that down before I forget. Actually, I'll type it here. Actually, I'll just screenshot this. There you go. We, um, I play 2K and COD. Nothing wrong with playing 2K and COD. My point is, it's people who are like, oh man, I'm a fan of video games. And all they play is 2K and Call of Duty. Like, you're not even a gamer. You just like Call of Duty and 2K. Have you read Unforgivable? Unforgivable sounds familiar. Why do, I don't know if I don't think so, but it sounds familiar. Hold on. Oh, I think of the video with that black dude. I ate some fucking walls and fries. <laughs> oh, what's that bitch? Some, some. Is it the unforgivable? In a battle between good versus evil, a heaven versus hell, plunge into darkest hours. No, I haven't read this. Interesting. Let me let me just save. Let me favorite this so I don't forget about it. But interesting. No, I never read that though. <clears throat> oh, you went irredeemable. Okay, so that was okay. So I did see. I did see that. Did Did you mean irredeemable? Irredeemable. Oh, Mark Wade. I have not read this. No. But it's pretty new. That's probably why too. It's twenty twenty. I I wouldn't have known about it, especially if it's like superhero stuff. It kind of looks superhero-y from the from the cover. But no, I haven't read this. I gotta get into Black Sun and that stuff first, but shouts shout out, man, because because I like Kingdom Come. Shout to Mark. As long as I can see what's happening in the fighting, it's good to me. I mean, what what makes a what constitutes a good fight? I think is uh, based on context and what's going on. Like, there are some fights that may not be a visual spectacle, but it's emotionally gripping, so I'm okay. Some of them might be the opposite. It's a visual masterpiece, but I, there's, there's no real stakes here. I don't particularly care about the outcome. If it's animated, things like music and camera angles and things of that nature come into come into the forefront to the fray. So you gotta think about that and navigate all those different moving parts. So, so yeah. Do you think of my scholastic recommendation, Amulet? Didn't I watch that? Is that... Someone's. Did I forget? Sorry, Amulet. Oh, the graphics! Yeah, the graphics novel. Yes, yeah, by by Kazu Kibishi. No, I didn't read this yet. I forgot about that. I'll oh, favorite this now. I must have been thinking about something else. He said the mail I sent you. I sent you bounced. I'll give it to you in person. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got text. I thought someone. I thought something. I thought, I thought, I thought something bad happened for a second. So. Um, someone told me someone told me that they read the One Piece spoilers and that I might like the next chapter. I don't know. So, 
it would be most something you would like, even if it's even if it's Superman lost his mind and decided to wipe out all of humanity. Wait, is that literally what it is, or is it like a Superman archetype character? Because I don't know if I don't know if I need that in my life. Gosu fights are so damn smooth, shit goes crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Gosu Gosu's um concept of momentum movement and spinning and using torque and whatnot with strikes i almost thought was really good glad you're enjoying tod brother uh, it's, it's nice it's nice to be, enjoy what i have to react to and read it's very nice it's very nice so you would not like those spoilers you are not an agenda type dude oh okay <laughs> <laughs> niggas just be lying niggas, just, niggas just, well you know what it's partially by design that I don't want anyone to know what my real taste is, in a sense. Like, I don't think it's hard if you talk to me long enough when you pay attention. But I I could like anything. Like I said, like, it could be a story about an eraser meeting a pencil. And if you made it, if you made it compelling, I'd probably cry my eyes out and be emotionally, it was emotionally gripping, so. I don't know if you like the chapter, but you might laugh, so it should be the reaction. I don't know, man. I'm so tired of One Piece right now. I got no, I don't, I, I don't care about One Piece right now. I just don't care about it. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. I'm also going to watch Dragon Ball Superhero. It's a fucking Gohan movie. Gohan Beast or whatever. So, what was we were rating for this big chapter? Like an 8? Like an 8. It was good. I liked it. It was good. Fury back. Again. And Dorsey and Lily all going to have their, one, their, their ones. I'm feeling it. Chojin X when no I'm not a, I'm not an Ishida guy I'm not a that, that's Ishida or whatever right that's the the um guy who made Tokyo Ghoul not a fan not a fan not a fan and I, I, it's not impossible that I don't I'll read it someday I just don't care about it not a fan that boy do not know that he, that he's likes no they don't know <laughs> they have no idea they don't know Sivi what do me and you always say thank you for the follow people people be um. People be, we're, you guys are haters. And you don't like anything. Blah, blah, blah. X, Y, and Z. But I'll, I'll spend a whole day posting about like a comic books and Don Hua and some obscure manga that I love. And not a peep out of anybody. I go Black Clover Sub Mid. Everybody in my mentions. Yeah, that shit sucks. It sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. Like, you guys don't care about what I like because you don't know what it is half the time when you see it. If I post a, a panel of coffin bound. I'm like, damn, this was so comp- comp- a compelling first issue. You guys just scroll past that shit. You don't re- doesn't register to you, so you don't know what I like. Niggas recommended me goddamn undead unluck. You are not serious about life. I do not like that shit. I don't want to read it. Say Boruto chapter reactions went. Now that's just disrespectful. I don't even like Naruto. Dumpling boy had some of the best fights. He was a professional landscaper. He was sick. I really liked my um. I like the sword dude. The sword dude had some. God, God, his fights were so good. The after image effect was 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 lit. Was lit. Um, Tokyo Ghoul was mid, but Tokyo Ghoul read read is solid. I don't. I I don't. I don't. I never finished re. I just watched um the main character fuck that one bitch. It was mid. My dude from Future Diary. He hit it better from the bike. He. <laughs> That's that. That sexy was trash. I liked Suzuya from the first Tokyo Ghoul series, but I don't think Tokyo Ghoul's bad. I just don't care about it. You have to understand. There's a lot of times where like I'm reading and watching or engaging with a series, and I don't have any beef with it. I just don't like it as much as people around me. I had to tell somebody the other day I don't like Attack on Titan though, and that that was that. I like him. He's a he's a good dude. He never he never bothers me. But I had to tell him like, listen, brother. I really don't like Attack on Titan. Please stop sending me these fuck ass memes. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't want to see it. I don't think about it. I never liked it that much. Just don't. I'm not an AOT like that nigga. Chill out. I didn't unlock. No. How you catch a trace for no reason? Good. Wheel of Time. Again, that sounds familiar. Oh my god. Wheel of Time. Probably not, but let me just make sure. I might know what it is though. There's a lot of things that I know of that I don't read or I know from checking the wheel of. It gave me it gave me a TV show, so I don't know. Is it based off a Wheel of Time book? I've never read anything by someone named Robert Jordan, so no, I don't know what this is. 
and I'm not adding. I'm telling you right now, I'm not adding it to my plate. Don't even recommend it. Just keep it. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. You don't like AOT, but you stand Hunter Hunter. Why do you guys lie on my name? Why do you guys just make up lies? Who stands Hunter Hunter? Fuck Togashi. Fuck Hunter Hunter. Fuck Bati Rider. Where and gone. All them niggas. I hope. I hope another chapter ever comes out again, and y'all suffer. I hate. I hate Hunter. I don't hate it, but it's whatever. Yes, you watched the Naruto version history. That was fun. You're Orochimaru and how that Jutsu, Jutsu work joke had me had <laughs> killed me all weekend. Orochimaru was that nigga, bro. Kidnap a nigga off the street and, and inject some cells into them, bro. He was a real scientist. That's a real science. Um, now I've been assertive about the Gashi lover. That's crazy. You didn't like Attack on Titan or Attack on Titan ending. I don't really care for Attack on Titan in general. It's not bad. It's not the worst thing I've ever read, but I don't like it. It's not a series that I... I have fond memories of and think about it in a in a high regard. Like Attack on Titan, good. I like Levi. I like Erwin. Yeah, that's about it. The sh the moment the stuff on Paradise ends and they have to go fight the other humans, that story to me becomes extremely mid. I know. Oh, time skip, Aaron. Peak fiction. He's so different. He changed. That's the same fucking nigga. TV show of Real of Time. Oh, okay. When the when the Build King written history, the Build King. <laughs> we gotta do we got we gotta do um Toriko at some point though. V you know time skip area. And I told someone I don't like the worst character in AOT and they melted down and wrote a paragraph on why she's such a victim and I was just like, whatever, man. I missed the AOT abridged uh Team Four Star did. That was hilarious. I didn't know they did that Team Four Star did that. Toriko boys. Yeah. It's March and I haven't done a revisionist history yet. I'm not, I'm not I'm not doing so hot, but we'll I don't worry. We got something I got something for you on Friday. I hope. Possibly. Shout out to Nikolai Tesla. Uh Shumachi no Valkyrie. That's the gods fighting humans thing. The Thor fought like Jesus Christ or something. I remember that. I think I see a couple of that. Kengen Omega, Kengen Ashura is another one a lot of people like. Uh but yeah. But another thing about me is I really have to be in the mood. Sometimes what I'm reading is, isn't is isn't is I don't like it. I'm not in the mood to get into something. Like, Reborn and Gintama were things I read like three times before I really got into them. Sometimes I just have to. Sometimes I'm just not in a reading mood. If that makes sense. Wheel of Time is like, okay, the better. Still waiting on Jordan Lawrence's question for real, for real. Simi was Simi Simi went to watch wrestling. Pat never answered me. And um, I just and I decided to to go out. So <laughs> yeah, team one episode and got slapped with a season assist. Damn, I remember. I no, 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 that's no, that's Dragon Ball when Sean Sean Skemmel, whatever his name is, the Goku voice actor, said something about Team Four Star and how what they were doing is like bad or something. I don't know, that was a cold controversy. Tenshu Muyo is, is is what you want if you want old school. I like Tenshu Muyo. All right, I, I I used to watch that. I'm enjoying Water Seven. I'm on Frankie's backstory. Water Seven is really good. I think that I, I personally believe we're in the best stretch of One Piece from the debut back fight, long running long um island to Water Seven, Annie's lobbies and post Annie's lobbies. To me, that's the best stretch of One Piece. But enjoy that. Cutty Flan's backstory be hitting, man. What's up, Syndrome? I'm back, and my cousin didn't kill us both while driving. Hey, we living. Got to hop back on before I touch it again. I just use Gintama for therapy. It's much cheaper. I saw something today. It's like when men need therapy and the guy slaps the sticker on the leaking water. It was like podcasting gym. The podcasting part is kind of funny to me because maybe it's a more recent thing. But gym, definitely. I'm having a bad day. Go to the gym. Work it off. Work out the frustration. I feel that. No, 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 bitch. Foxy, best to talk. Let them, they don't know about Foxy. They don't know. They don't know about Foxy. They don't know about Pip. Pip. They don't know. You know, people that this not do Gintama series? Or do you mean the Golo, Goro, something 13, that new, the, his old new work? Something like that. Uh, also, we are, also, we officially back with TOG. Intriguing, intriguing. Yes, yes. It dropped on Sunday. We back, back. Wouldn't you say the stretch mark from Skypea, wouldn't you say the stretch starts from Skypea since you high on it? Fair, fair, actually. That's a good point. I mean, I like Alabasta a lot too. I guess I, I guess, I guess I just, I take the Water Seven Saga as my favorite stretch of One Piece. But you, you, you'd be right. That, that's, that's not a bad. That's a good point. 
Nah, is that Ginpachi adaptation? Oh, is that the thing I saw today with the One Piece opening and everything? And I think I also saw they're doing like maybe like a light novel of the sort, some of the sort. So sad, sad Jim, happy Jim, horny Jim. Facts. Go to the gym when you're horny works too, because I burn out the energy that I would have used to, on some cheeks. I feel that. I'll be working out when I'm in the morning. Well, okay. Then I'll, I'll watch it, of course. I like it time. I gotta watch that. I gotta, I gotta watch the movie, though. I haven't watched that movie yet. I have not watched that motherfucking movie yet, bro. I'm such a fraud. Uh, I, like, like I said, my videos, my video, my videos that I make are in the folders which all my other videos are in. It's not like I look at it all the time. I got like my hero looking at me. I got the last Evangelion movie looking at me. I got Gintama staring at me. There are so many movies that I have to watch just looking at me. Dune, Dune looking at me. Oh man, I've gotten bad at watching things on my own. Unless I know it's something that's a personal eclectic interest to me that other people don't care about. Like, if Legend of Hay Season 3 comes out or something, or maybe. I know people don't really care or know what that is, and I don't have to, so I just do it on my own. That's fine. Some, like, random thing comes out, you know, 100,000 Bad Jokes Part 2, I'll watch it on my own. But if it's, like, the next season of Yaiba, as much as I want to watch it, I need someone to watch it with. I I don't I don't have the motivation to watch it on my own, especially if I've already read it. So, so yeah. Still, I watched that movie. I'm actually terrified when I watched that movie yet. I feel it, bro. You got the mid hero movie looking at me. Yeah, the third one, the third one that came out. I didn't. I haven't watched it yet. Um, do not watch the last Evangelion <laughs> again. Do we cover the Goat Father of the Year? Nah, watch end of Evangelion. Um. Been waiting for the Gintama version of stream for like seven years now. I haven't even been. I haven't even had a channel for seven. This channel hasn't even been. Lost. It's been. This is the fifth year I've had it. So tried it, and you weren't here. You're one. So, so, so nice try. I've watched End of Evangelion. I'm talking about the fourth Gintama. The fourth Gintama movie. I mean, uh, Evangelion movie. Not the end of. Not the end of Evangelion. I watched that years ago. Now it's been seven years. <laughs> <laughs> not been no seven years, man. It hasn't been no seven years. Get off my ass, man. Get out of my booty. Get out of there. It's not for you. Bonjour, mon cœur. Comment ça va? How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Don't worry, man. Gintama, we're gonna we go we go we go we gonna end up we gonna end the year of Gintama this year for real this time. Don't worry. It'll be the last video of the year gonna be the Gintama Revisionist History. <laughs> and if y'all not there. Y'all gonna have hell to pay. I, I actually haven't spoken to Recon about it. I haven't, I haven't spoken to Recon or Laz about it in a while, and so I, I have to, I have to talk to them and see what they're, what they're, what they're looking at, looking like. Police get out of them. Yeah, they're, they're up there in my ass. They're trying to make me do all these things like I have unlimited free time. I'll, I'll, I'll be off contract for like a week, a week, um, early April though, so I'll have time for just content creation though. So don't worry, you get a, a good seven, a good like ten days of just me. So. Um, wait. Where was I? Wait. What day? Four score, four score. Seven years ago, I had a dream. Started watching Naya mid pandemic. You should, you should play Nino Kuni, my favorite game. I played Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. I played that game. I haven't played the second one though. Police, actually early pandemic. Don't do the Kintama yet. I need to finish again. Facts. Recon in a One Piece hype coma. Is that is that real? Is he actually excited? I I I I can't tell what people or people are playing it up to because I like One Piece fans are pretty rabid, so I think some creators, not him necessarily, are afraid to say bad things about it. So I don't know, but facts. After ever watching anything together, I was convinced that half the series was everyone at base hallucinating it from a leak. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna gaslight a thing of seven years since you finally stream it. Gaslighting raw. I just reread Gintama for that stream last year. Shake my head. But he's, he's lying. Uh, I never seen Recon not love One Piece in my life. One Piece. Uh, I don't know. He really likes the egghead stuff. Oh, I don't. Y'all gotta explain that to me. I don't get it. I don't see it. I don't. Get, I just want to leave. This is inefficient. It's fucking boring. We never fucking fight in this series. God damn it. Misato's my favorite character. That's best girl. Shout out. She be drinking the beer. You the goat. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Am I excited for the Mario movie? No, but I am excited for the third Sonic movie. Shadow. The ultimate life form is coming. 
Maria. You're a beta male, Sonic. I, I, somebody showed me that channel and I can't stop watching it. Eggman took over the U.S. healthcare system when he tried to do like evil things that the American healthcare system already does. I'm like, this channel's kind of funny. There was the one with Jet where he's like, I'm going to beat you. He's like, I bet you haven't even... I bet you're still a virgin. He's like, you're right. I've never touched a woman. I've never lost my virginity because I never lose. I said, wait. It's a hard-ass line. I don't care. I don't care. That line goes hard. That's a hard-ass line, bro. <laughs> I said, I will start saying that shit. I never lost my virginity because I never lose. <laughs> that channel is so unserious, but I like that guy. He's pretty funny. That shit is so fucking funny. What's his name, Jet? Yeah, I think it was you, actually, who put me on. So, yeah. Eggcat is just mid. Yeah. Masato Queen. Bing back versus BB already. Second Sonic movie was so gassed. Their movie going to go crazy. I like those movies, man. I really like them. I'm not going to look. I look, you know, I say these are greatly constructed films from bottom to the top, from top to bottom. I have fun with the Sonic films. I have no interest in a Mario movie. I've only seen the trailer that I saw because when I went to go watch some movie, it was one of the trailers in the theater. I couldn't avoid it. I haven't watched the trailer on my own. I don't care about it. Um, watch the one where Knuckle of uh invested in NFTs. <laughs> okay, all hail Shadow. Fucking hilarious, Jeff. Funny. His Sonic vids kill me. Yeah, it was me. I'm gonna watch all three movies in one go. I feel that. Never played Sonic. Are they worth playing? I think some of them are worth playing. I think the Genesis games are worth playing. So Sonic One, Sonic the Hedgehog Two, Sonic the Hedgehog Three, and Knuckles. Sonic CD. Um, for the for the adventure style games, I think Sonic DX Director's Cut. I would play. Well. Well, no, I can't. I can't co-sign that game. I just like the Sonic levels, and for the most part, but Sonic Adventure Two Battle is dope. I think. I think for the boost games, I would play Sonic Generations, Sonic Colors. I actually, I actually like Sonic Unleashed. I do. I admit it. I like that game. I like the the black the um Arabian Nights games, but that's an acquired taste. I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell you to play Seven Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight, but I do like them. Um, you know what? Just I will just you know play Sonic Mania, and if you like Sonic Mania, then maybe you you might be like me. Your favorite style of Sonic games are the Genesis style games, because Sonic Mania I think is the best put together Sonic game they've they've made. Sonic Two was the one I used to play all the time because I really like Chemical Plant Zone. But I'm I'm a Sonic kid, and I like to go fast. I like fast platformers, so that's my thing. But I like I'm a Mario. I I play a lot of Mario too. Uh, Mario Three especially with the Tanuki Tail, with the whistles and stuff. That's I played this. I played that game. I beat that game so many times. Honestly, crazy. Oh, Sonic. That's that's it. They're not say colors. It's Sonic Colors. I don't know if Sonic Colors Ultimate's a good like remake, repackage, whatever. I didn't care because I just played Colors on my own. But but yeah. Um, what are you trying to link? It's not. It's not much. I, for some reason, like only like I think mods and I can post link links. But if you tell me where it is, I'll post it. If you send it to me, I can post it for you. Um, I'll 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 look into how to fix that. I don't know. I don't I don't have a problem with you guys posting links. Someday. I don't. But I don't know. Sonic colors mid. Damn. Unleashes the goat. A hey. secret ring was my shit as a child. Teeny, I liked it, but I know like I knew it wasn't like a traditional Sonic game. Generations and Adventure Battle Two are the best for me. I agree. In terms of like, the three D three D Sonic games that I've played, I think Generations and um adventure 2 battle are my favorite i'm trying to like frontiers i'm doing my best i'm trying what's my opinion on the new tmnt movie coming out is that the seth rogan one i think i i think i think pat posted that in the group and i didn't care but he's all he but he's on his like i'm gonna watch it with my little cousins or whatever um i have no interest i don't care about it um i have no strong opinions in any direction i just i don't i don't care I'm not the biggest Ninja Turtle guy, personally speaking. My I like to play Ninja Turtle beat 'em up games more than anything. So like I'm not a Turtles guy, so like, they don't they don't move me. I don't get excited for Ninja Turtles. I like Raphael though, that's my guy. I like April O'Neil, but I like classic April O'Neil. I like White Reporter with the with the with the yellow on April O'Neil. That's my April. That's what I like her. Um I like I like I like I like um what the fuck is that guy's name? my god the camera's name rocksteady i like rocksteady i like rocksteady but i think i think digit turtles is like scooby-doo to me 
every generation reinvents and reinvents the wheel to to suit modern audiences. I think mine was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles get it up. One, two, three, four. Turtles. There's no J reactor. Turtles. Like that's my era, right? So that's my Ninja Turtles. Anything before and after that, I don't like. I like the the one before before that one, but like that's like my era, and like I guess Scooby Doo when I was in the in the nineties was my Scooby Doo. I don't care about like Velma and how they do it now. So yeah, that's my best answer. Not as not really a turtle guy, but they made April O'Neil look hideous. That fat ass black girl, she looked ugly as fuck. <laughs> like to go fast? That's your excuse to her. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Dear, dear. I'm trying to link a jet video. Are you on Discord, I guess? Okay, give it to me on, give it to me on Discord. I'll, I'll watch. Oh, did you tag me on the apes or something? Don't blink. Don't think. Eggman's crypto mine. <laughs> okay. Look, 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 look at this. It's not even long. It's like six, it's like six seconds. Hold on. Oh, no. I got a commercial? How? How do you get to my ad lock? Okay, there we go. That's better. Wow. <laughs> my TMNT is 20, 2012. Okay, I feel that. Mine was the 3D animated movies where Raph injured Leo and Leo got kidnapped. I remember that, actually. Uh, me like um, Big Titty Milk with red hair facts. Uh, April Elite, Elite Milk, Nine Nose Ball for real? Yeah, yeah. Are you... I, I'm not, um, not the fat black April O'Neil. The one that I saw in the other Ninja Turtles, where they could like summon their weapons and had that crazy anime fight scene. That one's fine. That April O'Neil doesn't bother me, but no, I don't. I don't know what it is with this, 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 this obsession of r representing like ugly, normal, fat people or whatever. Oh, my body, and it's like I want to watch shit to see six foot five niggas who are pure muscle with no body fat. Fly through the air, do cool shit. I don't. I'm not here for realism, personally. But you know, that's a hot take. If I say that, I'm canceled or I'm a bad person or whatever. And I, and not that I give a fuck. But yeah, I'm gonna get the jet one after too. This power plant is huge. This is Eggman's crypto mine. It produces Sonic enough Heroes. energy to power all of Station Square or Mint One NFT. No problem. Let's get in there and smash the blockchain. Smash the blockchain? What'll happen to my NFT? Your what? You bought an NFT? Yes, I bought an NFT of the Master Emerald to prove I own it. You knucklehead! That NFT isn't the Master Emerald. It's just a hyperlink to a JPEG of the Master Emerald. But it's in the blockchain. They told me that would protect it. Who told you buying that hunk of junk was a good idea? A guy on Twitter. His username was... Eggtherium.eth. Oh, come on! <laughs> you fell for a scam, Knuckles. But it's in the blockchain. I have no idea what crypto is or how it works or NFT, so this that stuff goes completely over my head. But this, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Ah, oh, I lost it. The 2006 with my TMT that Smash clone I'm aware the only person that I don't know if ever played it. Okay, this is the one that I was, I was talking about earlier. This, this this one when I saw it and I watched it I I laughed for like you ever watch something and you and you like you move on with your day and you think about it and you start laughing again I kept laughing at this like way after the fact but this was the best one that I saw so far um Woo! hey Jack hope you like your silver medal I'm winning this race see ya at the finish line <laughs> Ugh, you might touch the finish line but you've never touched a woman you're right! I haven't lost my virginity! Huh? Because I never lose! <laughs> Whoa! See, that's a hard ass line. See you I later, keep. sex haver! <laughs> that's a that's a hard ass line. I said bro. Well, if I can't take his trophy, then I'll have to take his virginity. What the fuck? <laughs> See like they're they're so unhinged. They're so unhinged. Give me give me one second, guys. One second.
said if Akat took for first place, I got to take his virginity. <laughs> he said, what the fuck? No, that's just funny, though. That, that that's, that's a good channel. I, I support it. I'll watch some Jet. I think he's pretty based, too. From what I can tell, he seems to be based. I like based people. I find know what that means now. That means I'm like a normal, I think. So, yeah. I like I said, voice him for the yeah the voice yeah yeah yeah. You should do. We should watch Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. The best Scooby Doo. I don't care about Scooby Doo enough. I'm so I just Scooby Doo was one of those things that I watched to get to the show I wanted to watch. Let's say it's seven o'clock. I'm watching Inuyasha and Dragon Ball comes out at eight. But Scooby Doo comes out at seven thirty. I watch Scooby Doo at seven thirty to get to Dragon Ball at eight o'clock. I'm not a Scooby Doo guy. I'm not a Scooby guy. I don't care about it. It don't move me. I'm an Archie guy. I like Archie. Archie was my shit. And the cartoon Archie, the weird mysteries, and like Martin mysteries, I used to watch. But I'm not, a, I'm not a Scooby guy. I don't really care for it. I really don't. And sex haver, yeah, yeah. Um, that's my, that's your Casca. Why was it the? Yeah, but yeah, but I, but like the the old ninja, the old Ninja Turtle movies, move, old Ninja Turtle movies were pretty fun too, though. I like them. They were, they were cool. No, no smoke with them. But yeah. Those aren't things that have for. I get lucky a lot of times when like people recreate stuff. I don't have a general. Like, okay, so you know how like the current controversy is with like, is it Peter Pan and they made Tinkerbell black, um, and then like Holly Berry, um, Holly Berry. First of all, why can't I hear myself? Wait, anyway, sorry, I think I heard myself. Um. Halle Bailey, right? And it's just like, I don't care about live action remakes of like the Disney animated movies. Like from the first one, from Lion King to Jungle Book to like, um, what else they do? Mulan. So like when this, by the time this came out, I've already not cared. So I have no dog in this race to fight in either direction. I'm just going to switch here for now. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting a new battery, my new battery, uh, right now. So I'm just going to switch here, but yeah, it's just weird. I don't know. So they said red Ted Saiga raw, but what, well, wait, hold on. Now I think about it. I never watched Inuyasha from start to finish. Really? Interesting. You know what though? I I think I made that revelation in like twenty like ten, where I'm like I never watched the last act, the final act, whatever it was called. I never watched that. But what is Archie? Is it like home movies cartoon? Archie is like the story. It's like Archie. He's, he's like that guy. <laughs> he, he wants to date like Veronica and Betty Jughead. He just eats burgers and gives dope advice. You got um Mitch. Mitch is the big dumb brute. It's kind of like a. I don't. I don't even know what. I don't even know what you would call it, actually. But I don't know. Look it up, man. I. I. I, I, I don't know how to describe Archie, but I like Archie though. Mostly because Jughead out. Jughead the goat. But yeah. You don't like the sword and the stone. I say like, Diamond Ted Ted Saiga. Ted Saiga is a, a dope ass sword, but Shishomaru's last sword that he gets to like, the one that was in his hand that was that was that was goat. Well, yeah, Ted Saiga is fucking busted. I didn't finish the first part and skip to the final act, but it's only because I was watching it on Adult Swim. Oh, fair enough. Archie, a Western slice of life. There you go. There you go. It's like a slice of life. Where are they even from? Like, is it? Are they even in like rural America? But yeah, there's like a rich girl named Veronica, and like the the whole girl next door, Betty, and then sometimes you'll see like the Hex girls will come make a crossover, or like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I don't know, man. If I show you. But I like Archie, which y'all 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 know who my favorite is though. I want, who was paying attention? No, why did you give me fucking this? Who is this? Archie of Prince Sussex? Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Who, I don't know who that is. I don't. I don't get get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. But I'm not watching that. This is this is this is Archie. Fiona Staples, who does um. Who's the artist for Saga also works in here. But yeah, see, see Jughead Jones right here. This is the ghost. This is Archie Andrews, the main character. This is Veronica, the rich girl. That's my bitch. There's um Betty Cooper, the girl next door, elite white milk. You got uh Jughead, the goat. You got this Reggie's like the kind of like 
bully, but he's not like they're not, they're not super strong. But Reggie's like the arch rival. Valerie and and Josie and Melody are from the pussy. I think they're the pussy cat dolls or whatever the fuck they're called. Okay, I don't, I don't know these people. These are I know I know Sabrina Spellman. I don't know. I don't remember these people. Raj Patel. I I don't, I don't remember the Raj. No, I, I don't know. I know Moose. Moose is dumb. I know. I know Chuck. I know Dilton Doily. I know Cheryl. Now, how many pages are there? Oh. Anyways, yeah. So that's uh, that's Archie. <laughs> there was a show called Archie's Weird Mystery. I used to like watching that back in the day. What's going on in this town? Archie's weird mystery. <laughs> Hex girl, Sora. Yo, Hex girls put a spell on me, nigga. Like, uh, I, I was so moved. I was. I remember the first time I said, I don't know. I'm like, I have a tingling in my loins, but you know what I'm saying? So, just show me true blade, the black saga. That's what it's called. I remember. I don't know what it's called. You can watch the initial together, bow. Aw, for real, for real. Ending of that's Inuyasha is come. Inuyasha has some of the best openings and endings. That soundtrack is amazing. That shit's moving the fuck out of me. Facts. And new Peter Pan will either be decent or really bad. I think it'll be bad, but I don't have any faith in Hollywood, so that's just me. Hex, yeah. Riverdale's not good, but I, I, I never watched Riverdale. I never, I wasn't interested. Don't care about Riverdale, but I've never, I haven't heard good things about it. Craziest cartoons were the Dune Buggy one and the Blabbermouth Shark. Archie seems like a ghetto cartoon made by someone. It's, it's actually a really old one too, though. Like Archie has been, it's like. Actually, let me let's see let's let's see how old it is. How old is how long has Archie comics been around? Eighty four years. Founded well, it's kind of telling me here like nineteen uh, thirty nine, but Archie's old. I remember it's old thing, so it's not like some new thing that came out of nowhere. But but yeah. I had my most open life ready in that song. Now, the X-Girls were lit, but the Scooby-Doo movie with the mom and daughter turning into cats, bro, I wanted to be the black and white so bad. Uh, all right, friends. I got I to gotta head out. Um, I'm going to edit these up, throw, it on, throw the thing on Patreon, and I got to head out to a dinner. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Do something dope. Some do something do something crazy. Something insane. Jump off a building. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Unless you can take the landing. 